You talked about content cloud. I mean, you talked about a lot of things. We, we recapped that earlier, but one thing that jumped out at me was a couple things. One was the notion of um, new demands on the business, future requirements, unstructured data. Mm -hmm. But he talked about applications and how applications need to free up from the data. And he referenced this in, in what he called the content cloud. So take us through what is the content cloud? What's the definition of the content cloud and what is it applied to? So the content cloud is how do you build a pool of information and leverage that pool of information as your business grows, as, as your own life grows. He used healthcare and, and life sciences as a couple of examples there. And part of that is, uh, you know, you feed information into this, into this almost black hole today where it just stores the bits. But that's not good enough. So you talk about, you know, PowerPoints that you might create or Word documents or this video. Uh, ten years from now, you want to find that information. How do you leverage that and, in fact, use something uh, or do something with that information in the future? So our vision is let's create an intelligent content core, which does become the cloud, an ability to not only store the information or retrieve the information, but add intelligence on top of it, the ability to find that content, the ability to reuse that content out of the context that it was created, perhaps. So, you know, this, this video stream, for example, 10 years from, out, from now I might want to take a clip, and who knows what we have in terms of a new high-def broadcast. Yeah, I could be president of the United States, and I could, you know, <laughs> have some you know, dirt on me from when I was on the queue. Absolutely, so we <laughs> want to be able to find that, we want to be able to take those juicy clips uh, and reuse them. I know, the, the, the governor, governor race in California using all kinds of clips against uh, oh, that's amazing, know, uh, Carly Farina, clips from her sound bites as an HB person. You can see the high def wasn't around no, then. You no. Know? <laughs> you know, but, so, <laughs> but, but, but content clouds, we resonate with that because we do content business, but what does it mean for application? What does it mean for the market? I mean, and users. Is it a user application or is it just a whole other paradigm? Is it something different? It's not a user, it's not a corporation, it's what do you do with information, how do you make it valuable? So for example, information that might be a healthcare record is locked into a healthcare system today. And Jack's point was, hey, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, those records have to persist. Hopefully I'm going to be around in 20 years. I'd like that information that was collected today and a checkup I might have with my doctor become useful to me 20 years from now. How does that work today? I mean, so compare and contrast, you know, old way and this new way. Yeah, so, so where we are today is that information is very tightly coupled and locked into an application that creates it. And where we're seeing that is just look at something as mundane as word processing. Um, over the last 20 years, how many different word processors have come and gone? each of which has its own proprietary format of information. Mm -hmm. So now if I wanted to get a document that I created 20 years ago with WordPerfect, how do I do that? It's in a, a format where I have to use that application to get my information back. So the idea of a content cloud is you start to store information in a way that makes it portable outside of that application. So if it's not WordPerfect, it's Microsoft Word or it's something else in the future, I have that information available to me outside of the context of that app.